Good afternoon for 4 News Now, I'm Rob King. Welcome to today's KXLY Plus Daily Rundown. I'll take you through some of the top local headlines and give an inside look as to what the 4 News Now team is working on today. Let's start with a look outside. It is going to be hot. That high pressure system that we have been anticipating has moved in. So it's going to be clear and hot today, upper 80s and 90s around the region. As you can see, almost 97 in Tri-Cities and the Lewiston area or close to 90 here in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Uh, and that's going to continue through the next week. Uh, we're looking at the next seven days at least staying in these upper 80s, lower 90s. In addition, that's going to create on Saturday fire weather watch so be aware of that for these areas of central Washington due to that high heat there's gonna be a lot of dry conditions not a lot of rain and some winds and that just creates the perfect storm for possible wildfires so on Saturday be aware of a fire weather watch in that area you can follow KXLY where if something does break out we will have the latest information for you Let's take a look at what the rest of the week's gonna look like. As you can see, that heat is going to stay at least through Wednesday, staying into the 90s. It's gonna be hot on the weekend, hot into next week. Uh, so be sure to stay hydrated and uh, check on your elderly relatives and pets as well. Be aware the heat does impact them. So take breaks when you can and uh, just get ready for summer weather right now. Let's take a look at what uh, is going on in our community. Spokane Police Department arrested an 18-year-old man yesterday. This is for a suspected hit and run. Now a family was crossing division near Lyons Avenue when they were struck uh, by this suspected vehicle, an 05 Dodge Magnum police. The incident occurred last week, but police were able to arrest a suspect yesterday. They've still not located the suspect vehicle, so they are asking the community to keep an eye out for this vehicle if you see it. Uh, the license plate number can be found on our website, kxly.com. If you do see this car, uh, give a call to either SPD or Crime Check. Uh, fortunately, the family that was struck in the crosswalk, they all three suffered non-life-threatening injuries. It was a mother who had serious but non-life-threatening injuries, a toddler who suffered minor injuries, and then a baby in a stroller that fortunately was unharmed, though the stroller was hit by the vehicle. So uh, SPD did arrest, again, an 18-year-old man for the felony hit and run in this case. Let's take a look at what everybody's up to today. Bronte Sorotsky, she's going to be in Newport, Washington, where they have just reopened their obstetrics unit at uh, Newport Hospital. And uh, that's good news. More people have ac health care access. Now, part of the reason that Newport was able to do this was that Bonner General's obstetrics closed. Their unit closed as doctors had been leaving Idaho due to abortion regulations. Uh, so that was causing, we've covered this a couple months ago, where that was causing the obstetrics unit in Bonner General to close. And uh, so Newport has been able to reopen theirs. Uh, according to Bronte, they've hired six nurses, obstetric trained nurses from Bonner General to come to Newport. And that's been part of the reason why they've been able to reopen this unit. So Bronte will have those details coming up. Uh, Allison Martinez, she is looking at a health uh, a new tax that's going to be coming out of your payroll. It's a payroll deduction. The Washington CARES Act funding for that goes into effect July 1st. Now, what this act does is it's going to create funding to provide long-term health care for Washingtonians. Uh, that's going to be if you need transportation, if you need meals, if you need home modifications, maybe you're in a wheelchair, you need a ramp installed. This is where some of that funding is going to come from, and it's going to amount to a new payroll deduction of about 0.5% about a half a percent, which um, for someone making the median of about $36,000 a year, it's gonna be about 25 bucks a month. So maybe $12 a paycheck if you get paid bi-weekly like we do. Uh, so, and Allison is going to be speaking with people that are for it, uh, people that were against it, and uh, what it's gonna look like going forward for the Washington CARES Act. Natalie Grant, she is looking at a local doctor's for a national story now there is right now a national cancer supply shortage you might have heard about this uh, it's making it difficult for people getting treated for cancer to get that treatment because some of those medications are not available or chemotherapy is not available 
Uh, so doctors are having to explain to patients why they're not able to get treated as quickly as they normally would if this supply was as high as the demand. So Natalie is going to be speaking with patients that are experiencing this, also doctors, and uh, what they're trying to do to get around this current shortage. And if there is an end in sight, Natalie Grant will have that information. Peter Choi, he's following up on Camp Hope, though the camp has officially closed and renovations will eventually get started on that plot of land. Uh, what happened to all the people who used to live there? You know, at one point it was over 600 homeless individuals at Camp Hope at its peak over the summer. Um, Peter is going to be speaking with one family as they're trying to get them all into permanent housing. One family did get into permanent housing. Peter is going to be following up with them about how that process went and uh, how things have been going. Uh, they got help through a local nonprofit, Housing Navigator. Uh, so Peter's also going to be speaking with the CEO of Housing Navigator about what they do and uh, maybe how the community can help as well. Also tonight, 4 News Now's Aaron Luna has a special report. He's going to be looking at SWAT in Spokane County. SWAT has actually been seeing an increase in calls this year, more calls than previous years, and they also have new technology that they're utilizing to help keep officers safe when they are on maybe a dangerous scene. So Aaron got to see some of the training that SWAT officers undergo, including new technologies like drones and uh, how to better handle uh, dangerous situations. So that special report is airing tonight in 4 News Now at 6. Uh, but before that airs, Aaron and I sat down yesterday to talk about his special report and uh, just kind of go about what, what, what got to him about this, why this was something he wanted to tackle and approach. It was a good conversation. We talked for about 10-15 minutes uh, and we, there is in there some exclusive content that will not be in the special report tonight that you can only watch at KXLY Plus and KXLY.com. So if you go to Aaron's web article, you will be able to find that video as well. But be sure to tune in tonight to Aaron's special report, again, airing at 6. And it will be up on KXLY.com and KXLY Plus following its conclusion. So that's all we got for today's KXLY Plus Daily Rundown. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to download KXLY Plus on your connected TVs. That's a free 24-7 streaming news, uh, streaming our local news. You can get that for Amazon Fire or Apple TV or Roku. Also, be sure to download the 4 News Now mobile app and turn on notifications so you can get the latest in breaking news, especially with a fire weather watch alert this weekend. Uh, you'll want to have your breaking news notifications on and ready to go. So all those stories and more coming up tonight at 5. But for now, live in studio, I'm Rob King for KXLY+.